Oh, no. Adam Sandler made a good movie. No! 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 Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey, guys, this is my review for Uncut Gems, a film that... I have to begrudgingly admit, has a fantastic performance by Adam Sandler. A performance so good that I really believe this is the best performance he's ever done in his entire life. I haven't liked a lot of Adam Sandler movies. At least to say, Adam Sandler is basically renowned as being one of the laziest filmmakers, making some of the worst comedy movies, some of the laziest comedy movies. And I think it's that begrudging look, that dislike of the guy, that helped me really build into the experience with this film. His character, Howard, in this film is a piece of garbage, yet he is trying to do things for the right reason, kind of. And I think that's what really pulls you into this film. Story about a guy who is a hustler, a better, a gambler, and he constantly keeps getting the shaft and he just gets worse and worse and worse, but he keeps trying to dig himself out, but inadvertently he's digging himself even deeper. This film happens over the course of a couple of days, but you just never really get a break. There's one point in the film where he kind of undresses to lay down and sleep on a couch. And that is probably the only part of the film that actually takes a moment to full on breathe. Right from the start, you are on edge. During the opening credits, you are on edge and the high octane anxiety of this movie is what really fuels it. This is what people have been talking about with this movie, just the consistency of this ever-mounting anxiety-driven nervous trip you have throughout the whole film and it never lets you go except for the one point where he goes to sleep on the couch. When I was watching the movie at home I was fixed on the screen. I couldn't believe what was unfolding and I enjoyed the characterization. There's these weird little callbacks to 80s movies with the long slow pull out or zoom in, odd kind of ambient music. Also I enjoyed how down packed the pacing is. Supposedly this script took 10 years to put together and you can see that because everything is finely tuned. And a huge portion of the delays was due to basketball players. Like Kevin Durant was not the original choice. It was Kobe. I kind of wondered why I never heard of the directors of this film before. And that's because these guys have been making a bunch of short movies for a long, long time in their career. And I actually have to admit, I've never cared about a basketball game so much. Canada went nuts when Toronto finally won the basketball MVP thing. I, I, I don't watch basketball, but I actually really cared about the the basketball game that is pivotal to this film. And that's a great aspect of the film, pulling you into something that you're not even used to or not even a fan of, to make you that anxious for the outcome is something that this film does phenomenally well. I actually have to say that Uncut Gems is a movie that while about the seediness, the depressing nature of gambling addictions, of swarmy, awful people. This movie is a fantastically put together film. If I had watched this last year, this would have been in the top three because I'm gonna give Uncut Gems a seven out of seven. I can't believe how good this movie is. Now it's kind of up in the air as to whether these guys actually make something as good again. As I mentioned earlier, this did take 10 years to put together and not all scripts get that amount of care and attention to it before actually going to camera. We'll see if these guys can actually create gold or if this is just a one-off. I'm very interested to see where these brothers go forward. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.